I have a secret for you all. Are you ready? Capitalism and the fossil fuel industry are causing the climate crisis. Wait, 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 wait. Is that not a secret? Then why are governments, private institutions, and multinational companies still investing billions of dollars in the very industry that's causing the suffering of billions of people across the world? The global north needs to drop the disaster debt, which would allow countries hit by natural disasters to focus on responding to them instead of being burdened by these loans. We demand that these leaders step up and pay up through climate financing. This reparations is critical to ensure all countries can adapt to climate change and see a rapid transition to clean energy. Shh, silence. That is what the colonizers, imperialists, and ruling class want us to as they continue to overexploit land and people across the globe. The Philippines, where I'm from, is one of the most dangerous countries in the world for environmental defenders and activists. Dexter Capuyan and Bazude Sus are indigenous rights activists that have been abducted and missing for two months now. Remember their names and never forget that activists are not terrorists! Will we be silent? Will we be silent? We will all be impacted by the climate crisis one day, though in very different ways. We are sailing the same troubled waters, but in very different boats. Vulnerable communities that contribute the least to climate change suffer the most. But there is still hope. Hope that can be found hope that can be found in the resilience of our vulnerable communities. Our indigenous people have always lived in harmony with nature. It is this relationship that makes us a vital part of climate solutions. Protecting indigenous people and knowledge is climate justice. I have been to many global forums and listened to world leaders make speeches about commitments to climate action, but these pledges and promises mean nothing until they are fulfilled. Shh. We say enough! No more empty words and meaningless pledges from world leaders. We need action and we need justice. We need system change and international solidarity for initiatives like the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty, support in the fight for debt cancellation, and climate reparations. The voices of those affected the most need to be the loudest. That is why we are here on stage today. That is why you all took action to be here with us. What do we want? What do we want? When 